Well, welcome back, J. Clay and Betty. We're going to be talking about A Course in Miracles. This time we're going to be talking about a topic suggested by Betty. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. So I think one of the main principles in A Course in Miracles, again, is teaching us that we live inside of an illusion and everything within the illusion is not real, including our body. So it's lesson 199 in the workbook that we're introduced to this idea. And then in the sixth review section, lessons 201 to 220, the beginning of each review lesson is this concept as well. So it's really hammered into us after we're halfway through the lessons to really begin to adopt this belief that we are not bodies. There's a freeness to it. Um, it. It reminds you that you are not constrained to the limitations of the body. And a lot of our problems stem from our ego, which is tied to our body in, in certain ways. And when you remember that you are not even a body to begin with, everything is possible. All things are possible. You can, whatever you dreamed of, you can experience. If we are not our body, what are we then? This is the... The billion dollar question, one that, you know, everyone wants to know from a scientific standpoint, we lose thousands of cells every day. And like every seven years, all of your cells will have reconstructed. So every seven years you have a brand new body. So, OK, every seven years I have a brand new body. I'm older than seven years old right now. So how am I still me if I'm if I was my body? Since I'm not my body, I'm still me even through all of these changes. So then it's like, OK, I'm not my body. What am I? Am I, am I my thoughts? No, my thoughts, they come and go. I've had plenty of thoughts and I thought I was them, but then they've faded into oblivion. Okay. Maybe I'm my feelings. Same thing. Sometimes I, I feel great or sometimes I feel low, but even those fade. And throughout it all, I've still been me. So then the next thought that I've had was, okay, perhaps I'm my experiences. Everything that I've experienced accumulated makes me me. But then if you talk to somebody who experienced something with you, they have a different account. So how even how you remember that experience being might not actually be the experience. So you can't really claim to be that. Well, what am I? And I still can't answer that, <laughs> to be honest. We, we, we are. For me, I know that we're spirit. I, but I love the way that Jay just broke that down for us. We're not all of these things that we associate with on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, having a spiritual experience where I traveled to heaven, I kind of saw what we really are. And that is just essence. It's pure love, pure consciousness. It's source, source energy. So for me, when I read this part of A Course in Miracles after my spiritual experience, it was complete and utter confirmation. Of course, I'm not a body. I'm a spirit having a bodied experience right now. And, you know, even in the Bible, it talks about God made us in his image but I don't think that that meant the image, the human image. It meant spiritual image. And then however you want to perceive the story of the Bible, in A Course in Miracles, it says that we had this tiny mad idea. And I believe that we had that tiny mad idea while we were in form and spirit form. And then we kind of fell into the ego, meaning the human, this body. So I know that I'm not at my core, I'm not this body because eventually this body will be laid to rest. But there is some kind of energy inside of me. That's who I truly am. Let's read what the book says. So lesson 199, I am not a body, I am free. Freedom must be impossible as long as you perceive a body as yourself. The body is a limit. Who would seek for freedom in a body looks for it where it cannot be found. The mind can be made free when it no longer sees itself as in a body, firmly tied to it and sheltered by its presence. If this were the truth, the mind were vulnerable indeed. Okay, Jane. so let's analyze this because it's kind of uh, confusing, right? Okay, freedom must be impossible as long as you perceive a body as yourself. Okay, that's what uh, J. Clay said. The body is a limit, okay? Who would seek for freedom in a body looks for it where it cannot be found. We cannot find freedom within our body. The mind can be made free when it no longer sees itself as in a body. 
firmly tied to it and sheltered by its presence. If this were the truth, the mind were vulnerable indeed. Okay, my question is still the same. If we are not the body, then what are we? Let's continue reading. The mind that serves the Holy Spirit is unlimited forever, in all ways, beyond the laws of time and space, unbound by any preconceptions, and with strength and power to do whatever it is asked. Attack thoughts cannot enter such a mind because it has been given to the source of love, and fear can never enter in a mind that has attached itself to love. It rests in God. And who can be afraid who lives in innocence and only loves? Does this mean that according to A Course in Miracles, the mind is not attached to the body? Yeah, I do think that that is one of the concepts of the Course, is that the mind is the mind is one level, the body is another level, and spirit is the ultimate level. I think one thing is a lot of people associate the brain and the mind together, but the brain resides in the body, and the mind is is a bit freer. Like like Betty said, like the mind creates the body. We our, our mind controls our body, all of its actions, and I can't I can't say that we are a mind, but we have a mind, and we can use that to then direct our body. Along the lines, when I was really getting into the chorus, I had broke my wrist, broken fractured my wrist. And um, the, the idea of pain being an illusion was, I was well versed in it, but I, I didn't really get to experience it yet. And so I think uh, when I when I first, oh yeah, I wasn't gonna go to the emergency room. It happened when I was playing basketball. And then the the my teammate said the right combination of words that said, okay, fine, I'll go to the emergency room. Now, while I'm in the waiting room, I can feel the pain creeping up, but I have, you know, the, the course in the back of my mind, pain is an illusion. So I went into a meditative state and I just, you know, I, I said a mantra similar to that. And within that meditative state, the pain dissipated. And so with that, I knew, OK, the pain is not real if all it takes is meditation for it to go away. Go away. And so um, while I'm still waiting, it kind of slipped in again It eased the pain eased back in from my perspective. I went back into uh, meditation and again, it, it dissipated. So I found out that, you know, it was broken, fractured in many places. I ended up getting surgery on it. And the doctor was was telling me, you know, take it easy. Don't do too much. But me, I'm like, we can do anything. I'm not a body. I'm, I'm free. So I'm, I'm doing like pushups on my knees before I'm able to and everything. And when I would go to the, the checkup for the doctor, she's like, wow, how are you healing this fast? It normally takes double this amount of time. What are you doing? Are you are you working out? You shouldn't be working out. And I just said, oh, no, I'm just I just have a positive mindset. And um, and yeah, and she and, and it, it healed fine. It's perfectly healed now. It's like nothing ever happened. Well, for those who don't know it, Jay Clay is known as the spiritual rapper. Let's hear one of your songs now. I'll share a song called You Ain't Sick. Them away so you can say they disappoint you Thinking that a life of pain will somehow annoy you What you doing, huh? Do you enjoy this? Would you avoid this? When you stop replacing your voice with these noises? The choices you make stay moist and making me joy You're pressing your buttons like joysticks Tell me, why you think these dreams were dreaming? And why you think these schemes were scheming? If it can't defeat your demons, why you think these dreams were dreaming? And why you think these screams heard screaming? In your shouted out costume, trying to be listened to, but silence speaks volumes. Trying to be a witness to the peace of your peace, cause you need it in this symphony. I'll always give you praise, but shall never give you sympathy because of. If I healed you in the way you want it, the cause will remain, so the effects will keep coming, huh? If I healed you in the way you want it, the cause will remain, so the effects will keep coming, but uh, you ain't sick. Get woke, get woke, you supposed to nurse the cause. 
not doctor of the results. The thing is you associate pain with transformation. Claim your emancipation, patient proclamation. Yeah, the mind controls the body, but you control your mind. So why let anybody uh, control you anytime? Yeah, and that's including yours. Of this manner, you are Lord. Uh, listening to what isn't while the truth just gets ignored. Yeah, thinking what a cruel guy making people sick. But this your only job to show and represent. You can't truly believe in love when you embody sin. Cause sin means to live without, not what you think it meant. Lay down your judgment sword. Take off your love like armor and realize what's yours. As we rise in your honor, as we rise like we in heaven. No true but lie can threaten unless you believe the lie and say you learned the lesson. If I heal you in the way you want it, the cause will remain. So the effects are keep coming. Rise. You are well. Well, this has to do with what we were talking about, you know, directly. People see, how do I say this? They get rewards from being in pain. Um, they, they think sympathy gets them love and it gets them more affection. So sometimes if they feel they're lacking of affection, they might manifest symptoms of some illness so that people can come to their aid. And, and this is kind of like the breakdown that the course shows us the the weird ways that the ego works in order to try to get what it wants. You mentioned in your song that God is not the creator of our illness. We are. It's explained in the, in the course, like conflicts within lead to conflicts without. And if we have conflicts just within ourselves, it, it will be manifested in some way within our body. You can really see this come up for yourself if you take a little inventory each day. So, you know, the information that I'm feeding myself, what kind of reaction is it having to my body? You know, like if I'm watching videos all day that are about war or destruction or Karen videos, I like watching those. <laughs> I will feel physically not right. Like something will manifest inside my body and having a mindset that, I can get sick or that bad things could happen to me. Those will attract into my life. So I really love this song. I think about it all the time. If I'm perceiving that, like, I'm feeling a tickle in my throat, I'm like, no, this isn't even real. This, this is not, this is not happening. And, you know, I have willed those things out of my reality just by affirming the lyrics from Jay's songs or the lessons from A Course in Miracles. It really can, our thoughts really do shape our reality. Well, uh, thanks for coming. Any last message? You ain't sick. If I healed you in the way you wanted, the cause will remain. So the effects will keep coming. But uh, you ain't sick. You ain't dying. You ain't this. You just ain't trying. You ain't sick. You ain't dying. You ain't this. You just I ain't bet you trying. Got slob, slob, sorry, don't you? Telling everybody about it because you think they want you, pushing them away so you can say they disappoint you Thinking that a life of pain will somehow annoy you What you doing, huh? Do you enjoy this? Would you avoid this? When you stop replacing your voice with these noises? The choices you make, they moisten, making me joy You're pressing your buttons like joysticks Tell me, why you think these dreams were dreaming? Ay, why you think these schemes were scheming? If it can't defeat your demons, why you think these dreams were streaming? Ay, why you think these screams heard screaming? In your shouted out costume, trying to be listened to But silence speaks volumes, Try to be a witness to the peace of your peace Cause you need it in this symphony I'll always give you praise, but shall never give you sympathy because uh, if I healed you in the way you want it, the cause will remain, so the effects will keep coming, huh? If I healed you in the way you want it, the cause will remain, so the effects will keep coming, but uh, you ain't sick, you ain't dying, you ain't this, you just ain't trying, you ain't sick, you ain't dying, you ain't this, you just ain't trying, you alive, get 
woke You supposed to nurse the cause, not doctor the results The thing is you associate pain with transformation Claim your emancipation, patient proclamation Yeah, The mind controls the body, but you control your mind So why let anybody uh, control you anytime? Yeah, And that's including yours, of this manner you are lord uh, Listening to what isn't, why the truth just gets ignored Yeah, Thinking, what a cruel guy but this your only job to show and represent You can't truly believe in love when you embody sin Cause sin means to live without, not what you think it meant Lay down your judgment swords, take off your love like armor And realize what's yours, as we rise in your honor As we rise like we in heaven, no truth a lie can threaten Unless you believe the lie, and say you learned the lesson Rise.